Hi, this is Phil from Dirty Driveway. So, I cleaned this driveway, must be about four or five weeks ago now. Um, it's natural stone. And after cleaning, you can see we've got all this black stain in. It's a very, very common question I get asked. Um, I get emails regarding it. And <clears throat> basically, in this video, I'm going to try and touch upon what it is, how to try and cure it, fix it, um, eliminate the stains, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's it's going to be a, I wouldn't say experiment. I mean, I have used, um, have come across this before, and I have fixed it to, to some degree. Uh, I can't guarantee that it's going to work 100%. Um, but from all the different drives, patios that I've done, I've had very good success. So we'll have a, just have a quick look at this. As you can see, we've got some black staining all over the patio, driveway even. As you can see, the driveway's in lovely condition apart from all this staining. You can see this yellow one here. This has been jet washed. It was cleaned. So what is it? Well, you get two, from what I've come across, different types of black stains, marks, splodges, whatever you want to call them, however you want to describe them. Um, these are more like black stains. Um, you can get these like spots or splodges that appear on your driveway patio as well. Um, the splodges, um, or the little, looks like, Bit flicked ink on it basically uh, and it won't come off no matter what you do uh, jet wash even at full throttle you know three and a half thousand psi it will not get it off um, it tends to love natural stone such as this but it's not that fussy you'll find it on your mortar lines you'll find it on block paving you'll find it on concrete uh, it's not that fussy and predominantly you'll find most of it uh, if it's in shaded areas, areas that are maybe slightly moist or damp, that don't really get much sunshine, somewhere like around the edges of trees. I mean, you've got it, you can see here, we've got a, a hedge that runs all the way along. Uh, this is not really suffering from lichen, um, hence the reason why you don't see the black splodges or the, the little spots that you get. Um, basically, what I've found this to be is a fungus so it's the same as the black spots the black spots known as lichen um, it's a fungus uh, basically it comes in off the trees bushes i say it likes anywhere that's wet or moist a little bit damp uh, out of the sort of sunshine and the black marks black splodges they will grow they just germinate and take a couple of years so one one year you'll find you won't have any and then year 18 months later you'll think my god what's that you'll scrub it scrub it scrub it nothing will happen and your new shiny patio or driveway is looking a bit weathered already now i'm obviously i'm standing here staring at the driveway with the camera sorry about that um, but nobody really wants to see my face so uh, for the time being it's just going to be my lovely voice talking so these black stains difficult to describe what they are it just looks like black rubber stains, um, but they're not. If I pan up, you'll see we've got quite a bit of greenery around here. And up there, we've got a lovely oak tree. And we've got some more over that side. Basically, what this is, it comes in off the oak trees. Um, I've done quite a bit of research on it. I've spoken to various people on it. and. The oak tree basically suffers from a disease called canker. Um, there may be other names for it, there may be different diseases, but um, it, it turns the sap in the tree very black, very thick and sticky. You'll start to notice it more, more if you park on the driveway. You'll find that your car uh, will get covered in this sort of thick black sap. Uh, it can be quite a nightmare to get rid of. Um, but that's basically what it is. And obviously it will settle on the driveway and then it will turn into these black stains, black marks. And it, it starts a 
from a fungus so it kind of eats into the stone spreads its little feet out everywhere and then you'll get to a stage where the jet wash won't get it out and it just ends up looking like this so you can see with this driveway it's pretty clear over there that's because obviously they park their cars there you know it's more more traffic and then you pan around this way and you'll see this side has got a lot of black staining so what basically they're trying to do today is try and help this uh, i can't guarantee it's going to remove it 100 percent but i've had the black spots the lichen um on patios and driveways before and i've had very good results anyway enough of the talking the rabbiting on what you're going to want to try and do first is bleach good old-fashioned household bleach um, you don't have to buy anything expensive you know the brand names if you want to buy a brand name you can buy a brand name but i just buy the cheapest thick bleach that you can get you can get it in any supermarket comes in 750 ml bottles three quarters of a liter and you can get it from 50 pence a bottle you can buy the brand name one if you want the brand name one pound pound 50 a bottle but the ingredients are exactly the same the main ingredient you're looking for is sodium hypochlorite uh, it is a form of chlorine it isn't chlorine but it's a form of chlorine it may contain an amount of chlorine um, or basically the stuff they chuck in swimming pools okay so onto the nitty-gritty what am I going to use I'm going to use some bleach just good old-fashioned household bleach you will see on the bottle where is it down there if it'll focus sodium hypochlorite four and a half grams per hundred chucks five liters in there you can see it's thick you don't really want it that thick it's hard to spread so just water it down slightly a little bit of water not too much just enough to thin it a little bit and then taking a good stiff brush I'll make sure you've got some old threads on as well because obviously you're dealing with bleach so it could end up changing your clothes funny colour so what you want to do is just basically get it on the, on the floor try and do this one handed All you've got to do is get it on. It's going to run away, but it's not a problem. So rather than me sitting here, boring you scrubbing this driveway, I'm going to turn it off and I'll come back when I've finished right, this. Welcome back. Okay, so I've put a layer down. Obviously the foam in is uh, the surfactants within the bleach. So as you scrub it, it will foam. It's quite handy, you can see where you've put it. So I've put one quick layer down. And today is an ideal day. Obviously we are in August, it's quite warm, but it's overcast, it's not sunny. It's the best time to do this. If it was really, really sunny and the driveway or the patio is hot, um, it will make this dry out very quickly so ideally you want to be able to keep it as wet for as long as possible so a nice overcast day obviously it can't be raining because you're just going to dilute the mixture so it just needs to be a nice overcast day if you do have to do it on a sunny day um, and it's a smallish area you could put it down and then cover it with a tarpaulin or if you've got one of those pop-up gazebos and it's a small area some people only suffer with this on on the odd couple of slabs which is quite handy um, but not in this case um, so ideally one nice overcast day when hopefully there's no fear of rain so basically with the bleach mixture um, you can put it in a bucket or you can put it into a garden pump sprayer or watering can however you feel is easier to put it down you're going to want to make it as thick as possible um, so that obviously that it will it will sprinkle or it will pour out um, I've used pump sprayers before if you try and use it neat it just doesn't come out it just sprays in random patterns so you're going to want to dilute it 
my recommended dilution is three to one. So that's three parts bleach, one part water. Or for every three liters of bleach, you add one liter of water just to thin it a little bit. You don't want to thin it too much because you'll just end up diluting it. So this has been down only about five minutes now. Um, and you can see it's, it is starting to work. Um, it's starting to lift. And ideally what you want to do is you, you just want to lift the, um, the black stains out. Um, you may be able to scrub them out a little bit later, but ideally you're going to want to leave this down for a couple of hours. I say if it's a sunny day, it's going to dry out, so you may need to quickly pop out after 45 minutes and, and put down another dose or give it a, a very light sprinkling with, with water because you may find the bleach won't actually evaporate, but the water will, but the bleach will dry on the stone, so you want to be able to keep it as wet as possible. So a quick look again I'm going to give it another quick rinse down I've got some more in a bucket I'd probably just swill it just sort of chuck some down give it a little brush in and then I'm going to leave it you're going to want it down for a good couple of hours so it gets maximum maximum penetration into the stone so like I said before this is bleach common household bleach it's cheap and um, most of the bleaches if you read be it brand name or um, you know, uh, like their own brand ones, rather than the high-end brand ones, they all contain the same ingredient, sodium hypochlorite, roughly four and a half grams per hundred. So if you work that in a percentage, you're looking at four and a half percent. It is a form of chlorine, same stuff you, you chuck in a swimming pool. Um, if you want this to work quicker, and you can get your hands on some, you can use swimming pool sodium hypochlorite, which again is a form of chlorine. Um, don't mistake it for chlorine. and you can buy it from swimming pool shops. Um, it's quite easy to get hold of, um, but it normally only comes in large quantities. You'll find it either coming five liters or 25 liters. For a driveway this size, you will need more than five liters. However, 25 liters will probably be too much, but you can always store it for a while, but not too long. Uh, the downside to um, swimming pool sodium hypochlorite is that it's a lot more expensive, um, but on the upside, it's a lot stronger. Um, it contains roughly 14 to 15 percent sodium hypochlorite so when you work that out if you were going to try and work it out on comparison to the supermarket bought bleach if bleach is four and a half percent 4.5 grams per hundred then obviously 14 to 15 percent you've only got to do your math um, and you're looking at what roughly three times as strong so this should work technically a lot quicker so I'd say this needs to be down for two hours, but if you did use swimming pool sodium hypochlorite, you could see results probably in as little as 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay, so second uh, rinse has gone down. Quick look at it. It's a little wonder up here. Not very good on the camera, so excuse the shake and judder. You can see they're the ones that had quite a lot of black staining on. Obviously it's only been down about 15 minutes, so we need to let it do its work. There's the couple of yellow ones, it's very hard to really tell. But yeah, so I'll leave that down for a couple of hours, come back later, and we'll see how well we got on. Welcome back. Okay, so it's now about two o'clock in the afternoon. The sun's getting a bit brighter. Uh, luckily this has still remained in the shade. So this has been down about two and a half hours, maybe slightly longer. Uh, and as you can see, I think the results kind of speak for themselves. If you remember, we had a couple of stones up here. That one was really black. And those two yellow ones that were down here that were really bad that's how they've turned out so, move around here so what I'm basically going to do now is just rinse it down with a, a portable washer um, I'd say it has already been cleaned previously so there's no need to go too too mad with it um, you may be able to remove some more of the black marks with the washer 
Uh, I've not yet touched it with a brush or the washer, so hopefully we can get looking a little bit cleaner, rinse down. But for a couple of hours worth of work, it's not really hard work. You can get some vast improvement. Hello, welcome back. Right, so I have rinsed it down, jet washed it with a little portable, and I think it's absolutely amazing. And uh, that was one one um, attempt. Um, I think it's come up really, really well. The beginning of the first video, you can see that was the stone there. Okay, there are a few black stains left. But if you know, if you've got more time to dedicate to it, uh, I'm actually doing this as a favour um, because I'm quite interested in this and different methods and, and ways to try and remove it. So you see, there are a few a few slabs with the odd bit left on it, but I'm sure another treatment um, you could have, you could easily just treat that the odd one slab here and there. Um, just so you haven't got to do the whole driveway. If I move over here, the two yellow stones, as you remember from the video, it is wet at the moment. Obviously, it's still drying, but you can see the massive difference. I'll just step back over here to get a shot from the driveway. Actually putting the bleach down seems to make the colours jump out. I only actually done about half of the driveway because that's all it was infected. So if I move back, you can see the massive difference. The black is pretty much gone. Um, unfortunately obviously it's still wet so it is drying so it would be quite interesting to see what it looked like when it's dry um, but all in all I think considering that was one application it has done really really well there is a page on on my website um, that is just sort of dedicated to lichen the black splodges uh, if you want to have a read up on that it sort of gives you sort of details of more instructions on you know mixing the bleach and stuff uh, I just thought that video would uh, give a better insight as to its effectiveness I'll put a link in the description um, but if you want to see our website it will come up at the end of the video or you can go to www.dirtydrive-away.co.uk have a little browse through there there are some pictures on there of the work that we've done in the past and also a page on the black splodges so uh, please feel free to have a look alternatively uh, check the link out in the description below I hope you found this video albeit long-winded I hope you found it informative um, this is a service that we can do for you if you don't want to do it yourself however we don't push this service um, purely because it is something that person at home can do if you've got a few hours it doesn't take much energy it's cheap um, for a driveway this sort of size I'd say you probably need only need around 10 15 liters of bleach tops so just stick it on your on your next supermarket shop and have a go but thanks for watching, thanks for bearing with me. I know you spent all that time basically staring at a driveway, listening to my lovely voice. But like I say, this video is, is designed for information and I hope you found it of some use. Phil from Dirty Driveway back again. Uh, I was just chatting to the customer and uh, during that time, the driveway is so warm, it's pretty much dry. So I thought I would sneak this last little bit in um, just to show you obviously um, the drying and that it has dried out. A couple of slabs that were really bad at the beginning. Those two little yellow ones. Go for a close in. 